everyone. Welcome to Jolly Molly TV. Today we're going to work on the next two blocks in this cute project by Lori Kent called Take Me to the Beach Bench Pillow. So today we're going to work on blocks eight and nine. And blocks eight is this cute sandal pattern fabric right up here at the top. And the one right below it, the scuba diver with the coral. So we're going to work on these two blocks. So go ahead and get your no-show mesh stabilizer, your fabrics that you've allocated for these two blocks, your batting, your threads, and let's head over to the machine and let's get started. Okay, we are back at the machine and we are going to be stitching blocks eight and nine today. So let's go to the screen and let's load the designs, okay? So let's go to embroidery. Oh, by the way, I have a brother dream machine. Just in case you have something similar, you can follow along. I'm going to go to my flash drive. I'm going to go to take me to the beach. And I am looking for block eight, which is sandals. It's a filler block. So I'm going to look for filler block number eight, FB eight right here. Click on that. Looks good. I don't have to do anything to it. Click set and embroidery. We are good to go. Okay, let's go back to the hoop cam. All right, so we're going to be using white thread with this fabric. And this is the fabric that came with the kit. Cute little sandals if you're using the kit by Lori Kent Designs. It's still available on her website if you'd like to get this kit and sew along with us, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put white thread in the top of the machine. We're going to do the same steps that we've done since video number three, where we stitch out the placement line, then we tack down the batting, and then we place the fabric and we tack down the fabric. Same technique, same thing that we're doing. The one trick with this one, if you notice that I have a bigger hoop, I put a piece of my poly no show mesh stabilizer in my eight by 12 hoop because this design is nine inches tall by three wide. So with being nine tall, it's not going to fit in my five by seven. So I have an eight by eight hoop. Well, that doesn't work because it's nine inches tall. So I had to go and use my eight by 14 hoop, which is 14 inches tall so that that nine inch design will fit. So make sure you use a hoop that will accommodate a nine inch tall by three inch wide. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's stitch out the placement line. Here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to put the batting down and make sure I cover that placement line. This piece should just fit. I've got it covered. I'll move it over just a smidgy. Okay, so let's put the foot down and tack down this batting. Okay, and if you can see, my batting has a little bit of fold line right here. I'm not gonna worry about that, it's flat because when it, the machine does the stippling, it's gonna tack that down beautifully. So if there's a little fold or crease like this, there's one here and one there, don't worry about it. The stippling will take care of that. Okay, so now I need you to take the hoop off the machine, go to your table and trim away all of this excess batting around the outside edge, and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, and I'm checking my bobbin down below and it's almost out so I'm not going to chance it because I don't think I'm going to get through all of that stippling with just that amount of bobbin thread left so I'm putting in a new bobbin down below and then we're going to replace the hoop on the machine awesome and now we're going to grab our fabric doesn't matter which way this one goes like top or bottom, but that part doesn't matter. So then I was going to place our fabric down 
and make sure we cover the batting on both sides. There we go. And on top and on the bottom. And we are ready to go. So let's tuck down this fabric. Foot down and here we go. You got this. Now we're going to be doing the stippling. This is an 11 minute stitch out. So we're going to quilt this little block. We want the same color thread up on top, white thread. So put your foot down and let's stitch the quilting out. Here we go. Is another fun block too. See how much fun this project is? So we just did that block which is number eight. We got one more to do. So now let's go ahead and take this hoop off your machine. Take this block out. Put another piece of your poly no show mesh stabilizer in the same hoop. Because block nine which is next also needs a nine inch tall space. So go ahead and put another piece of the Poly No Show Mesh Stabilizer in this hoop, and I'll meet you back here. Okay, we're back at the machine. We've got more of that Poly No Show Mesh in the hoop. I put in a new bobbin because I was getting kind of low. So we are ready to go to the screen and load the next design. This next block is going to be block number nine. So this one is finished. Let's say okay and let's go to home. And let's delete the pattern from memory. Let's go to embroidery and the flash drive and the take me to the beach. And I'm looking for block nine, which is a 
scuba diver. So he's going to be down here. So let's go down to the page. And here he is, scuba diver. We need the scuba diver. Here we go. So we have the scuba and the coral and the little fishies. That's great. Okay, so we don't need to do anything. We click set. And then we click embroidery. And we are good to go. So, what's the color of thread we got to put in first? Okay, so we're going to put the navy, rock navy thread 30001 in the top of the machine, which is a very dark navy. And we're going to stitch out the next several steps, just like we did in the other videos since video three. We're going to stitch the placement line. We're going to put the batting down. We're going to tack down the batting in this thread. Then we're going to place the fabric and tack the fabric down in this thread. All right. So we've got the dark navy. It's called rock navy up on top. And let's go ahead and stitch out the placement line. Okay, so now I'm going to put the batting down and make sure that my batting covers that placement line on all sides. We're good. And we know we're good on the right on the top. So we are good. So you ready? Let's put the foot down and let's tack down this batting. Okay, so you know what you need to do now. We're going to take the hoop off the machine and you're going to trim away all of this excess batting around the outside of that stitch line and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, we've got the batting all trimmed up nicely. Now we're going to put the fabric down and this is the scuba fabric and now this is a directional fabric. So if you look at your screen, the scuba diver is going to be swimming here and the coral is going to be up this way. So you want to make sure your directional fabric, you have the scuba divers going that direction. Okay. Again, the scuba diver is going to go here and the coral is going to be here facing upwards. So make sure you have your directional fabric in the right direction or your scuba divers will just, you know, be swimming down instead of swimming up. I guess that wouldn't really matter, but this way they're upright okay so we check the batting and we check the sides this one needs to go over a little bit again feel the batting okay that's good and then feel the batting that's good so let's put the foot down and let's tack down the batting you still have that dark navy thread up on top Hey, you did it. So now with the navy blue thread still up on top, we're going to stitch out the quilting, the stippling. So this is a 16 minute stitch out. This is kind of long. Just take your time and put the foot down and enjoy the quilting. Here we go.
that turn out really nice? I really like the stippling effect on that. That turned out really nice. Okay, so just checking my bobbin since I took it out. All right, we're good. So put it back on, and now we're going to switch threads. And if you look at the instructions on page three, block nine, it says we're going to do step five, which is a papaya 70176, if you have the thread kit. And I'm looking all over, and I'm like, I don't have a 70176. If you look at your machine, you'll see it's the instructions have a typo. The, your machine says it's 70178, which we do have in the kit. So if you're looking at the instructions and you do have the thread kit, the step five of block nine, papaya should be 70178. Should be 70178. So we're going to take the navy thread out of the top of the machine and we're going to put the papaya and we're going to stitch out a bunch of coral. It's like almost like a coral bush. Okay. So this is going to be a little bit longer stitch out. There's a lot to this. This is about 21 minutes. So make sure you have a good amount of bobbin thread down below. Thread your needle and let's sit back and relax and stitch out some coral. Here we go.
that is very, very impressive. Look at that. That is a lot of stitching. That's so cool. I love that. Okay, I'm checking my bobbin. Yeah, I'm going to switch my bobbin out because I know that I'm not going to make it through the scuba diver with this. So I'm going to put another full bobbin in and then I'll come back and use this bobbin on the next block. Like when we start and we're doing tap down stitches and stuff, I'll put that bobbin in. But the scuba diver um, is two steps away and he's 11 minutes. So I want to go ahead and put a new bobbin in now. Now we're going to switch to white thread. There's some little accents that it's going to do. So let's put white thread in the top of the machine. And we, whoops, where'd it go? It's up here, got him. Okay, so it's about one minute stitch out. So let's go ahead and stitch out these accents. And while you're waiting to do that, you can pull the scuba diver thread while you're waiting which is going to be Royal 30661. That'll be for the next step. Okay. So white thread up on top, thread your needle and let's, ooh, we got a loop. Let's stitch out the accents. Here we go. called up accents earlier they're probably bubbles I think this one right here didn't stitch properly because it's much smaller than the other ones so I'm going to show you how to go back on the screen to fix that okay so down here there's a plus and minus button I'm going to click on that and I want to go back up one stitch so I'm going to go back with the up arrow and it takes me to the bubbles so now I'm going to go forward until I get to that third section of bubbles. And I can actually watch the machine here and see I went too far. So now I can back it up. Okay. Now I'm going to go forward just until it starts that stitch. Okay. So then I go back to the hoop cam. And you can see where I'm right now at that point. So I'm going to let it restitch. Get my finger out of the way there. I'm going to let it restitch this one. Even maybe when it goes over to that one. But I'm going to stop it before it redoes those three. Okay, so foot down. I'm going to keep my finger here. And I'm just going to restitch that bubble. And I want to let it go and finish the second one. Yeah, see it was smaller. Ah, I was missing one too. There's supposed to be three bubbles. There you go. Let it finish that one and tie off the thread and then stop right there. Okay. So foot up. So yeah, it was not only small on that one, the thread had not caught down below with a bobbin. And so it missed even stitching out that second bubble. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the screen and now we're going to move forward because we don't want to stitch that last bubble. So I'm going to go forward a stitch, which means down and the diver shows up. So we're back to where we need to be. So that's how you can fix it. If your machine ever does that and it doesn't catch the thread, that's how you can move forward and backwards with the stitches and restitch that area and then move back to where you were. Okay, so now we're ready to do the diver and we're going to put the Royal 30661 thread in the top of the machine. There we go. And then we're going to stitch out the diver. This is an 11 minute stitch out. So it takes a little bit of time. So we're not in any hurry. We just enjoy the process, don't we? That's what makes embroidery so much fun, is it just, it's so relaxing. Just takes the stress away. 
Okay, so we got the boil blue thread on the top of the machine. Let's put the foot down and let's stitch out the diver. 11 minutes. Enjoy. Now we've got one color left that's going to be the little fishies. So if you have the thread set, it's number 35405. That's the thread that we're going to put in the top of the machine. And we're going to stitch out one, two, three, four, five, six little fishies. Okay, so let's get the thread out of the bottom. Here we go. So put your thread up on top and you are almost done. You've got this. You have come so far and done such a good job. You're almost there. So we have one thing left to do. Okay, you ready? Get my thread off my hoop. All right, here we go. Foot down and let's stitch out the fish. <laughs> cute that turned out real cute I like that a lot don't you so are you proud of yourself I'm proud of you because you did it this one was a little bit harder a little bit longer 
but you were able to persevere and you have a cute block because of it. So this is block nine. Take this over to your table, grab block eight, which we did earlier in this video, and let's finish up these two blocks. Okay, we are back at the table and we have blocks eight and nine in front of us. Those are so cool. So let's go ahead and work on block eight first. Let's put nine aside. So if you look at the instructions that you have for block eight, it's going to measure nine and a half by three and a half, nine and a half by three and a half. So we're going to go ahead and trim this up, but I'm going to do it this way first because the stabilizer is so long. So we're looking at nine and a half inches. Remember, we're going to put the ruler on the outer stitch line, and then we're going to go a quarter of an inch past that. Make sure my ruler's got the dashed lines in the right direction. I'm on the outer stitch line. Now I'm going to go a quarter of an inch past that, and now I'm going to trim. Okay. Make sure. Yeah, that's good. So this is going to be nine and a half. So I'm going to put that on there. And I'm going to go to 18 and a half on my mat. Because I started it at nine. So that will give me nine and a half right there. Okay. So now we can go back and do the three and a half inch side. And the stabilizer is a little bit more manageable. It's not so big. So again, I'm on the stitch line and I'm going to go a quarter of an inch past it and flip it around. It's supposed to be three and a half. Come back down. Thirteen and a half. And there I am right on the stitch line with that dash and I'm a quarter of an inch past it. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing with block number nine, the scuba. This is going to be four and a half by nine and a half. Okay, so let's do this one again. This is going to be nine and a half this way. Same technique. You've got this down by now. So I'm going to put the ruler on the outer stitch line and then go one quarter of an inch past it. Take your time on this one because it's dark thread. You want to make sure that you can see through the ruler. And then this way is going to be nine and a half. Ten. Nineteen. Okay. And there is the stitch line. Make sure I'm on that side. All right. Where am I? Got out of the way. Okay, and now we're going to go four and a half. So again, look for that stitch line. Line your edge of your ruler up. And then we're going to go a quarter of an inch past. And this is a little bit confusing here because part of the coral is stitched on and over the stitch line. So you don't want to miss that. So make sure that you are a quarter of an inch past. And that bottom of the coral will end up going into your seam allowance. So there's just a little bit that's going to go in the seam allowance. That's okay. That is what she planned. Okay, so now we're going to go four and a half. So put this at 10 and 14. There's my stitch line. Make sure I'm at four and a half. And there we go. All right. Easy on that. And look. Look what you have. You have two awesome blocks. You've got one here with the sandals and the stippling. And then you've got the scuba diver, coral, and the fish. So we're looking at blocks eight and blocks nine. You did it. Don't you feel good? I hope you do. You're doing a great job. So I hope you stay tuned here on Jolly Molly TV and come back and watch the next video in this series where we work on blocks 10 and 11. All right. I hope you had fun today and I hope to see you soon. Until then, happy stitching. Take care.
Bye-bye. Thank you.